Hi guys, my name is Elena Hegemeyer, and um, I'm originally from Russia. I live in Missouri now. Um, when I was in Russia, I lived in a poor um, village, and uh, my parents were alcoholics. Um, we didn't have much to eat at our house. We always had to um, look in our house for food, but without finding anything, we would um, go outside and look through like the trees and we would climb trees and we would eat uh, leaves from the trees or we would go to the woods and find berries and um, mushrooms to eat. When I was eight my parents were put into prison for stealing some items um, and me and my sister were put into our first orphanage. And so being um, in that orphanage uh, we had um, a caregiver so that was amazing just to have that um, responsibility left off my shoulders for taking care of my sister. Um, they provided three meals a day for us and that was amazing itself because like I said before we hardly had any food to eat. And so to have three meals a day that was just like a hallelujah for us kids. Uh, when I was in my second orphanage and I got that um, when a Christmas child came into our orphanage um, and handed out these really beautiful colorful wrap boxes. Uh, for me, just to hold that was amazing, just because until that point, my life was filled with dark colors. It was darkness all, all around me. And so holding a box that was uh, so bright that it kind of lit, lit up my life for a while there, you know, um, just so beautiful that truthfully, I was um, kind of afraid to open it just because I didn't want to be disappointed again because the outside looked so beautiful, I was afraid the inside wouldn't be as beautiful. So when I opened that shoebox, I saw a lot of color pink. And like I said before, God knew me before I knew myself. And so um, until that point, I didn't really remember seeing color pink at our orphanage. And so just see my box filled with bright pink colors was just amazing to me. Um, not only did I have just like pink teddy bear or you know pink pens and pencils and stuff like that, but I also had like a pink toothpaste just because it was a bubble gum uh, flavor and so having a pink toothpaste was amazing. And so um, I have this, I had this uh, pink pen and just having a small pink pen that was just amazing but also this pink pen when I pressed down on it the heart on the pen lit up. And so that was kind of like signifying the fact that my heart for the first time lit up also. Um, and when I received that small gift, I felt love for the first time just because I always gave out uh, my love to my sister. I always um, take care of her. But this shoebox was showing me that uh, somebody out there loved me for the first time and somebody out there was taking care of me. And so but also with this shoebox comes a booklet, tells the story of Jesus and how he came and died for our sins. And um, reading that booklet, I thought it was a fairy tale at first because I could not believe that a king of kings would come down and die for someone like me. That a creator would give up everything to just come and die for a nobody like me. Because by that point I felt unwanted, I felt unloved, and I felt unworthy. I just felt like I was a piece of bones just out there in the world just to take care of my sister. And I haven't had any purpose or anything like that. And so reading that booklet, it gave me hope that there is someone out there looking out for me and maybe I am worth something. Maybe I am worth of God's um, giving up his life for me. And so even though I thought it was a fairy tale, I started praying to this God um, that I thought was a fairy tale. And I prayed for a family and he provided me a family um, with two younger brothers. And this family not only wanted me, but he want, they wanted both of us, my sister and I. And so in six months, uh, my parents came and they adopted us. And um, in six months, we were on our way to America. After a while, I kind of ended up being baptized into uh, Christianity. But um, the fact that God used that shoebox to not only get me a um, earthly family, but to give me a heavenly family was just amazing to me. So with these shoe boxes, just put in your picture and uh, a letter because for some of these kids, that is the only family that they know of. And so every time they open a shoe box and they see your picture, they will post it on the wall and they'll say, that is my family. But God used that shoe box to change my life and to change my way of living. And so I want to thank you guys again uh, for packing these shoe boxes.